Hi, this is Dr. Islam, back uh, again from uh, Advanced Cosmetic and Plastic Surgery in Danbury, Connecticut. Today we're uh, doing some uh, Botox, and uh, just for uh, informational purposes, Botox is a uh, muscle relaxer, so anywhere you inject Botox into will relax the muscle in that region. So typically for cosmetic purposes, it's used on the face, and I'll show you the areas where we're going to use it. Um, Helen's been nice enough to participate with us. Helen, can you frown? So if you look when she frowns, you get the so-called 11s, and that's from this muscle here. Can you raise your eyebrows? So raising the eyebrows creates creases across the forehead, and we can treat those creases also. Uh, can you close your eyes really tightly? Closing your eyes tightly creates the so-called crow's feet on either side of the eye, and you can treat those with uh, Botox as well. And uh, can you show me your bunny lines? Wrinkle your nose. And you also have lines that are created here from wrinkling the nose, and those can actually also be treated. Other areas you can treat is, you can treat uh, chin dimpling, if people have chin dimpling, a particularly strong chin, and you can also treat the lines in the neck, which, uh, you wanna just lift your chin up and tighten, and you can see there's some lines here, and you can treat those effectively as well. <clears throat> so, we've already cleaned off our face with alcohol, because you don't want any infections or anything. So go ahead and frown. Okay, so we're gonna. So Botox is a drug like many other drugs and instead of grams or milligrams, we talk about it in units. So depending on the individual patient, you can use anywhere from 20, 24, 26 uh, units in this region. And it really um, varies based on how big the individual patient's muscle is. Some people have stronger foreheads and certain lines, and you want to treat those uh, appropriately. All right, go ahead and raise your eyebrows. So now we're going to treat these lines. You can see the lines extend all the way out here on either side of the forehead. So we're going to treat those lines as well. Some people who receive Botox in the central forehead here will get arching of the brows. And um, sometimes you get severe arching, the so-called Spock look. So if people get that, you can actually give a little Botox here to soften that look because that's not something that uh, most people find attractive. <clears throat> so now we're going to do the crow's feet. Just turn to your left. Close your eyes tightly. Okay, and you can relax. Turn towards me. Close your eyes tightly. Okay, relax. So with Botox, you do not see the effects immediately. It takes a few days for the medication to absorb and relax the muscle. Okay, turn forward. Now squint your nose. All right, now tighten your neck. Uh, bring your chin down a little bit. Now tighten it. So typically people get <clears throat> one or two lines here, and those are muscle related, and you can actually relax that muscle with some Botox. The basic rule is the larger the muscle, the more Botox you would need to relax it.
So people often ask, you know, do you get bruising with Botox? So typically, I don't think you should get very much bruising with Botox. You can see you get little marks where the needle went in, but those marks go away within an hour or two. And usually you don't get any bruising uh, from Botox on most patients. So uh, we'll take another um, video of Helen in a few days when the Botox is working.